Every fertilizer product has a basic analysis on the label. After evaluating your soil's nutrient inventory and capacity through a soil test analysis, you need to determine what nutrient source and what rates will best achieve your yield goals. Understanding a product's analysis is the first step in building a crop nutrition program. One of the things that Ryan and I get asked often in the field is about fertilizer numbers. The fertilizer analysis or what that is and what do those numbers mean. Ryan, let's just take a couple of examples and try and walk through them a little bit and see if we can make sense of it. Absolutely. I think one of the things we had to look at is what sorts of fertility you're using. Are we using dry or are we using liquid? I think it's probably easiest to tackle dry first because it's honestly pretty cut and dry how we look at this. Okay, Ryan, so let's start with breaking down some dry fertilizer. And let's look at an, uh, an analysis of like an 11520. Let's say, for example, I had 100 pounds of 11520. Help me understand what those numbers mean. Okay, so whenever we look at that analysis, we're gonna be trying to figure this out by the percentages of product that's in that blend. So each one of those numbers is a percentage of Correct. how many pounds are in that blend. Correct, so to break that down, whenever we look at 11520, we're gonna have 11% nitrogen, 52% phosphate or P2O5, and in this case, 0% of K2O. Right. What we have to look at is the pounds, which you gave me the example of 100 pounds. So taking that, we're gonna look at 11% of our nitrogen multiplied by 100 pounds. That's gonna give us 11 pounds of nitrogen in that mix. So now when we move on to our phosphate, we're gonna be looking at that 52% multiplied by 100, which is the pounds of that total blend. Again, that's gonna give us 52 pounds of phosphate in that blend. As we said, in this case, there's zero K2O. That one's pretty easy. Multiply that by 100, we end up with zero. So in that total analysis, we have 11 pounds of nitrogen, 52 pounds of phosphate. Awesome, Ryan, thanks for that explanation. That helps me a lot. But in that example, I didn't have any potassium in my analysis. I used 11.52.0. What if I needed some potassium in my program? And uh, for example, I used a 0.060. So we're gonna go through the exact same process that we just did there. And let's use 100 pounds as an example because that makes for easy math for us. Right. Now. So we're gonna go through that same process and we're gonna take that 60%, multiply that by 100 to get a 60 pounds in that 100 pounds of product. So at the end of the day, when we make these fertilizer blends and we're looking at 200 pounds of total fertilizer, now we can make that analysis of 11.52.60. Right, and now we know how much fertilizer we're putting down when we take it to the field. Exactly. Now, let's take another example. Let's go a different direction. What if I wanted to take a look at liquid fertilizer? Okay. Say I had a liquid fertilizer with analysis of something like a 9.24.3. Help me break that down. So the first thing we're gonna have to look at that is we gotta figure out what our pounds per gallon are. So essentially we're adding an extra step to how we find this out. So in this instance, a 924.3 is gonna weigh 11.21 pounds. Now how did you know that? So I found that on the label. We're gonna be able to find that on the label of any liquid product that you're using. Very good. So the first thing we're gonna have to do after we find out that pounds per gallon is we're gonna have to multiply that by our total amount of gallons that we're wanting to use. So in this instance, it's five gallons. So we look at that in 11.2 pounds times five gallons, we're looking at 56 pounds of product. So when we look at that, we know the 9.243, that that nine is gonna represent 9% nitrogen in that solution. Okay. So what we have to do now is we have to take our total pounds of product that we're gonna be using, which was 56 pounds. We're gonna multiply that by 9%. That's gonna get us right at a little over five pounds of nitrogen in that application. So in that five gallons, I know I'm gonna get right at about five pounds of nitrogen, correct? Correct. correct. Okay, so then help me with phosphorus. So now phosphorus, we're gonna go through the same process. So in this particular blend, we're gonna have 24% phosphorus in this blend. So now we're coming back and we know our total pounds. So we're gonna take that 56 pounds, we're multiplying that by our 24%. That's gonna get us right at a little over 13 pounds of P2O5 for this application. Right, so okay, again, in that five gallons, now I'm gonna get about 13 pounds of phosphorus to go with that original five pounds of nitrogen, correct? That's correct. 924, okay, now we're to the potassium. Right, and we're just gonna repeat the same process now with the potassium. 
So we know that we have 3% potassium in that solution. So again, we're taking our 56 pounds, multiplying that by our 3%. That's coming out to right over just a pound of potassium in that solution that we're putting out. So again, in that five gallons, we're getting just over five pounds of nitrogen, just over 13 pounds of P2O5, and just over a pound of K2O. Hey, thanks, Ryan. That's a, a great breakdown of just the basic understanding of fertilizer analysis. Appreciate that. If you have more questions on basic fertilizer analysis and understanding those numbers, hit us up on agroliquid.com and hit the button to ask an agronomist.